I mean, we're very interested in, you know, uh, that's a great part of this conversation is trying to, because uh, we do very much, uh, you know, most of the programs we work with are, are teaching game design or development on some level, but we were starting to work more and more with uh, institutions that, that are teaching more uh, traditional um, uh, courses, I mean, uh, disciplines. Um, so any this type of stuff is great. I mean, we, we have the resources at least to um, help construct these type of materials uh, in, in whatever way is most beneficial. So we would prefer that you know we get the feedback on on what types of things are most beneficial, so we can we can create those. And, and Adam, uh, speaking as a student myself, when I've been learning um, programming and, and Unity in particular, I having a practical application for what I'm doing has been really motivating. Um, I don't know in terms of style of learning um, if that's the best or not, but um, especially when it comes to computer programming. Um, I have a mixed relationship with math. I'm not crazy about it, but I use it all the time, and I appreciate what it can help me create in this context. So seeing, I mean, that's why I like Unity as a, a way to teach programming some of these concepts, and that um, interdisciplinary thing seems like a fantastic idea um, to, I mean, it's just people are excited about what they can make, and then the learning is kind of incidental as part of that process. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm hogging the mic here, but for the academics, if, if you want to look for a grant to do this, and I'm telling you because we already got it, so we're not going to get it again, uh, a National Endowment for the Humanities, they have something called the Digital Humanities Startup Grant, and it's, it's a kind of a cross-discipline thing, but they're very interested in... Uh, uh, and digital projects that go beyond science. Well, I was going to maybe suggest that you guys do this, but maybe we should do it, and that is uh, put together pe people's uh, syllabuses who are using your products to see how they're actually being inserted. Well, we were starting to do that, and that's really, you know, the community side of it is, uh, is really new. Um, and it's kind of, we need to motivate instructors uh, more than students to be sharing those type of resources. Uh, I don't know, you know, a little fearful of, of you know, sharing or, or you're guarding it uh, because you're doing it. But yeah, we really, we, we have these groups um, that will continue to develop on the site itself to uh, encourage people to be sharing that type of stuff and then ultimately, hopefully add to it and, and build it into something that's useful for more people. Yeah, yeah personally, I'd, I'd, I'd love more feedback from from academia, but I haven't actually seen that much. I mean, you know, a, a number of you have already emailed me, and we, we've had uh, a few dialogues about, you know, what could be done. But I think a, a lot of people are quite hesitant to actually come up with their syllabus and just say, hey, this is what we do, and it works for us. You know, uh, people are in competition. You know, education is a business as much as anything else, uh, and people are often quite hesitant to share. But I mean, you know, if you want to get in touch, then you know, do email me um, or get onto our suggestions page and. and I say, ah, oh, it's mine, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'd love to have more feedback, same as these guys, of course. Yeah, well, we're downstairs, you know, through the rest of the day and, and tomorrow as well, so while we got everybody here, and then, you know, hopefully Will can come hang out, and we can just get a bunch of people together to talk. Cool. Hi. Hi. Is that on? Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. I'm Siobhan Thomas, and I'm from London South Bank University. And hi, Will. I haven't hi. really replied to your email, so I feel a bit guilty about that. Cool. <laughs> um, I'm quite lucky because I have a video game development course which is completely video game development all the way from academic theory on writing about video games um, to sound design to Unity. So it's quite an integrated curriculum. One of the challenges I face is this type of um, master class situation. So for instance, really high level concepts which don't get addressed in s sort of tutorials like this. So mm. for instance, color theory or um, topography in games or or balance, or even something like a simple concept like level design and watching edges in level design. So it would be really good to um, have tutorials which take these premises, these theoretical premises, and use kind of a, a, um, a tutorial aspect like collision, but at the same time it talks about these other types of premises. Yeah, so the, the implications of you know, a particular function or concept, but how it affects gameplay or how it's you know, the user experience. Um, not, not, not so much. Like, for instance, I really want to do a session on color theory, but it's very, very hard to find color theory resources and to talk about how color is um, disgusting, is, you know, created in games. And, it, you know, there's lots of ar traditional art history resources, mm. but these are, the, these are the challenges I face is trying to f locate this kind of material. 
And well, that was one of the really good things about the boot camp talk yesterday, mm -hmm. um, his postmortem, was because he talked about really simple concepts, but which are really actually hard to find information about. This is uh, something that we're actually pretty passionate about, and I, I hope that by year end uh, we'll have what we're tentatively calling kind of the career corner um, portal within the Design3 site, which is uh, educational materials that are much more oriented, less around, you know, click here, do this, um, and more kind of a collection of educational postmortem type material uh, from different profiles of, of people, I mean, of, of development studios, of individuals, in small teams, of student projects. Because um, I think there's a lot to learn, not just from how a tool works, but, but from people's experience, uh, you know, in, in making these projects. Um, and so something like color theory, you know, how that worked in a particular example might not be exactly what you're looking for in teaching a color uh, theory class, um, but hopefully as, is a resource for, and offers something to, to a, a student as far as why choices were made, what problems they ran into, how they were overcome. I think part of the problem is finding the right format as well. So I think if you, um, I think the post-mortem format is probably pretty good for teaching concepts like that because um, one of the things I've been trying to do is reach out to uh, indie developers. So I know, you know quite a few people in the community who've done games that have then gone on to be taken onto, um, you know, onto mobile and been big on the web and stuff. Um, and really, I'd quite like to get them to actually do a post-mortem of their game. But I think part of the problem with that is establishing a structure, as with anything, you know. So uh, in the same way as when you interview someone about something, you've got to ask them leading questions, otherwise they'll just waffle, you know, as I've proved today. Um, and I think ultimately it's finding the right format. And I think there's, there, is, there is probably some, some leverage in terms of getting video-based content into teaching those kind of things. But I think there's probably other formats as well. So be it Flash, you know, it's a bit of a dirty word here today, but uh, if it's a Flash application or Flex or something like that, just something that will teach those kind of concepts. Or maybe it's going to be an actual Unity game that teaches this is color theory, you know, think about the difference in, in this if we change it, and, you know, and then maybe there's a GUI that allows people to switch between different colors. How does this make you feel as a player? And so on and so on. So maybe it's about taking a step into game development ourselves as teachers to teach the concepts back. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. I hope that's okay. Anybody else? 